When we began this temple, we had deities this big, and they did not get garlands. And gradually, Radha Gopinath and all other forms of the Lord appeared. And it was the spontaneous enthusiasm of all the devotees that created the wonderful worship that there is today. <clears throat> It's not that ever there was an order what type of garlands or how many garlands each day. It's just from the few people who began and the enthusiasm and more and more and more devotees to participate that the quality and the quantity increased. Simple service, but making a garland for Krishna is a very deep meditation. With every flower that we string on the mala, our meditation should be an offering of our love, our devotion, Krishna. Actually, if you make even a single garland with that attitude, your life will be perfect. One mala offered or made with that spirit of devotion and you can go to Goloka Vrindavan. But it is not easy. Actually making garlands is a sadhana, like chanting our rounds. If we say one name of Krishna purely, we can go to Goloka. We are chanting and chanting with the intent that someday that name will, that name will come from our heart. Then our life is perfect. Similarly, when that one flower strung with pure devotion, with an honest and sincere intent, is put on a mala, your life could be perfect. That is the power of bhakti. even in such a simple service, we could reach the highest perfection. And in the spiritual world, the simplest things are the highest. The gopas, they make they decorate Krishna and Balaram with feathers and fruits and leaves and flowers. Whenever they find on the ground, they somehow put it together and make decorations for Krishna and Balaram. <clears throat> in the gopis, there are so many gardens in Vrindavan. Pushpavan near Kusum Srovar is where every day, just before noon, Srimati Radharani collects flowers from that garden to make beautiful garlands to offer to Krishna when he meets her at Radha Kund. So Pushpavan is very 
symbolic. The highest devotee, Srimati Radharani, at the highest place at Radha Kund, where the highest Leela is manifested. She's plucking flowers and making garland for Krishna. Every day, for all of eternity, What is our qualification to make the mala for Radha and Gopinath, for Gornitai, for Gopal? Actually, we have no qualification. In the spiritual world, the most intimate associates of the Supreme Lord are performing this service. But by Śrīla Prabhupāda's mercy and by the mercy of the Vaishnavas, even with our false egos and our material desires and our spiritual laziness, we're given this service. If we understand its value, and we're really grateful, we can achieve the greatest benefit. Sankirtan is the process in this age of Kali. Chaitanya Charitamrita it describes the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Nam Sankirtan or Prem Sankirtan, he garlanded the entire world. Sankirtan means together. Together we are trying to create a garland by which when we chant the holy names together, it gives the highest pleasure to Krishna. Now what would happen if all the flowers and a garland were fighting against one another? It would be very, extremely uncomfortable for Radha Gopinath. Yes, if they were arguing, fighting, envious of each other, on all the garlands, not that one flower saying, I'm the best. You are all inferior to me. Because of me, this garland is excellent. If the mala had any flower with that type of false ego, it would be a disturbance to Krishna. Every flower in the garland is there for the purpose of the whole garland. No one is thinking, no flower is thinking, I am the center. Every flower is thinking, to whom we are being offered is the center, Krishna. And we are all united for his pleasure. The big flowers, the little flowers, the red flowers, orange flowers, yellow flowers, white flowers. There's no racism amongst flowers. Not my, I am whiter than you. Or I am bigger than you. All the flowers are achintya beda beda. They are simultaneously one and different. One in the sense that they are all united for the pleasure of Radharani and Krishna. And different and they are all 
according to their capacity, contributing their own beauty, their own softness, their own fragrance. And they're all helping to make each other beautiful. A wonderful garland is where every flower is enhancing the beauty of every other flower. Not where one flower is trying to take the attention from all others. So, simply by studying very carefully, philosophically, analytically, emotionally, the nature of a single garland we can understand the inner truths of bhakti. Patram pushpam palanto yam yame bhakta prayachtati. Krishna tells, offer me with love and devotion a flower, a fruit, little water, even a leaf, and I will accept it. Everything is based on our devotion. A symptom of our devotion is our willingness to humble ourselves to be united for the service of Krishna. If you want to be great, there's no place for you in Vrindavan or Vaikuntha. Because in the spiritual world, it's a society where everyone is thinking everyone else is greater than me. Srila Prabhupada says that is Vaikuntha consciousness. Every other devotee is better than me. Let me assist them. Let me help them. Let me harmonize with them. That is devotion, because that is the consciousness that pleases Krishna. Selfishness, egotism, has no place in the spiritual world, and it should be, it should be seen as the greatest distraction from our own spiritual development. The tendency is to become caught up by the illusions of Maya. And we strive to achieve what is the absolute worst thing for our welfare. That is how Maya breaks us, breaks our communities, and breaks the chances of the world to receive bhakti. And you should know that the consciousness that you thread each flower is what Krishna accepts, not what everybody sees. Devotees may say, that's the nicest garland I've ever seen offered to Gopinath. But if you thread the flowers on it, with ego, with bad feelings toward others in your mind while you're doing it, with selfishness. While others are saying, oh, that's a beautiful garland, Gopinath would rather have thorns and prickers put on him, ugly, rotten thorns and prickers. That's the way he sees it. because he sees the devotion. He feels the devotion. Not what it looks like. Of 
course, our devotion is to try to make it look as best as possible. We will not put thorns and prickers on the garland and call it love and devotion. We will get the best possible flowers and put them in the best possible combinations. With the best possible consciousness. Selfish desires, envy toward others, prajalpa while we're making the garlands. It's like poison. It's like giving nice sweet rice to Krishna, putting poison in it. He will not enjoy it. So our temple is for one purpose only, to help people realize how to love Krishna. When we offer beautiful clothes, beautiful garlands, beautiful ornaments to the deity. It attracts people to Krishna. Actually, it is preaching. People see all oh, these devotees are taking so much care, so much time. God must be in this form. They would not be doing this for a statue unless they were getting paid for it. So by doing the best we can, we actually attract people's consciousness to, to begin to appreciate Krishna in his personal form. consciousness in which we make these garlands and offer these garlands is what is going to have the potency to actually affect people's hearts. To the degree we offer our service with pure devotion, to that degree anyone who appreciates it makes great spiritual progress. Whereas if we offer something in a very material state of consciousness, people who appreciate it will make very little progress. Garland is such a special part of our tradition. It's the way we honor special guests. It's the way we honor the, honor the spiritual master and the Vaishnavas. It's a form of worship. It's a form of appreciation. <coughs> Deities are getting two garlands every day morning and before Mangalarti. Hmm? So before Mangalarti and before the Shingar Darshan greeting deities. Nice. But just to humble you, when I was Pujari, we also had, we put, when we woke them up in the afternoon, we also gave them new garlands. <laughs> I'm not saying, but I'm just want to keep you, your ego in check. <laughs> of course, the deities were only this big. So, right? But even Radha Vrindavan Chandra, actually, when I was Pujari there before Mangalarti, Singar Darshan, and we'd put them to rest, and we'd we, we'd change all their clothes and give them new garlands every afternoon also. I think you should 
consult others before, especially the treasurer. The treasurer. But <clears throat> it's wonderful how worship is increasing so beautifully. And it's so nice to see how you are all doing your seva at home. I'm very happy for this day, because now if any of you invite me to your home, I could say I've already been there. spirit of devotees, ladies coming together every morning, every evening, working for hours and hours and hours to do this humble service for the deities and for Srila Prabhupada. It's very beautiful to see. It's very much a heart a very integral part of the heart of our whole temple here. Many visitors from other places, they speak with great appreciation for the garland makers. It's to see everyone coming, working hour after hour after hour, even people coming from long distances almost every day. Just to be together with the devotees to serve Radharani and Gopinath. Very simple, very deep, very wonderful. Soon we will be having Pushabi Sheikh, where hundreds and hundreds of members of the congregation are allowed to also participate in this service. Thank you very much. Paul's garden, all our children are like flowers. Gopal's fun school also. Bringing all these children together to make them into a beautiful garland to offer Krishna. Planting the seed Offering the water, pulling the weeds, putting the natural fertilizers, just to make that flower grow. You should meditate on the miracle of every flower you string on that garland. It's a living a living miracle is coming out of the ground. Grows with water, with sunlight, with earth, with fertilizer, to a brilliant color, nectarine fragrance, lovely texture, so beautiful. And then little bee comes on it and takes its pollen and puts it on another or whatever the wind 
may also spread the pollen from one flower to another. Then the flowers have babies. It's like that. Every flower is actually a baby of a mother. Ari Ari, a father. It's God's miracle, Krishna's miracle. One of the most beautiful things I appreciate about flowers and garlands is how within a day they wilt and become soggy and lose their fragrance, lose their color, lose their texture, and nobody wants them. Isn't that wonderful? It's so metaphorical to our life. Everything in this world, like the flower, begins as a seed. Every living being begins like a seed and starts to grow as a sprout, then blossoms, then wilts, and dies, nothing. But Krishna accepts the essence. This body is, doesn't last much longer than a flower garland from the perspective of eternity. The, time, the amount of time that a flower garland wilts and is no longer nice in our vision is really a long time compared to our life from the perspective of Lord Brahma. Our whole lifespan is not even a second from his perspective. And all the aging and wilting and everything. So a devotee is saragrahi, always concerned with the essence seeking the essence of life, seeking the essence of everything we see. And what is the essence? The essence is everything's connection to Krishna. The essence is eternal. The essence cannot be wilted by time. Neha Bikramana Sosti, when you offer a garland to Krishna, when you put a flower, when you place one flower, some people thread the flowers, others tie the flowers, according to your tradition of garland making. Did you ever see those malas where they tie little with string? They actually tie it to each flower. Pretty strong garlands. But every time you place one on, the act of devotion is eternal. Whatever you offer to Krishna, that investment of devotion will never wilt, will never grow old will never be lost, is ever fresh and forever. That is the beauty of bhakti. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.